What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get separation in your mints. So let's jump into it. Okay guys, so like I said, today we're going to be talking about how to get separation in your mix. So here we are in Logic Pro X. And the first thing we're going to do is pick the two tracks we're going to use to create separation. So I have two piano tracks right here, so let's take a listen to them. Okay, they sound great, but the problem is, is they're coming up the middle. So what I want them to do is be a lot wider to come out the sides so we can create separation in the middle for other instruments that need to be there. So how do we do that? There's a little thing that's called EQ Carbon, and that's what we're going to use today to make these piano tracks wider. So let's jump into that. Okay guys, so the first thing we want to do is grab the EQs inside of Logic Pro X. So here we have our first piano track. And what we're going to do is grab the stock EQ that comes in Logic. So this is EQ1. So we're going to move this over here for now. And then we're going to go to the second piano track and grab our second one. Now this is EQ2. So now that we have our two EQs open, what we can do is start using the EQ carbon to make these piano, two piano tracks more separate and more wide. So what we're going to do is on EQ1 here, what we're going to do is play the tracks and I'm going to find the very first frequency that sounds bad. So let's jump into it. Okay, I found the frequency. It is around 440 hertz. Right there on that frequency, it sounds like a really bad honking noise. So it sounds really bad, really honky, really muddy. So we're going to cut that out about 3 dB. Okay, so we cut that frequency out about 3 dB, so that frequency is cut out. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to find another frequency that sounds good and boost that frequency. So check it out. Okay, so right there sounds like a lot of clarity is coming through, a lot more of the body of the piano, so it sounds a lot better. So what we can do now is just bring that down to about 3 dB. Okay, so now that we have our two frequencies on the EQ chart, what we're going to do now is move on to the EQ2 and actually show you how we're actually going to use the EQ carbon to create space. So let's move on to EQ2. Okay guys, so here we are 
in EQ2. Now, the thing about EQ carbon is, is that it's all about getting the separation in your mix that we want. We want that wideness. So pretty much the trick is, and since we cut 440 hertz on the first EQ, what we're going to do is we're going to take 440 hertz and boost it on the second EQ. So we're going to go to that frequency here and we're going to actually boost that. So go here and we're going to boost 440 hertz. Okay. All right, so now that we're at 440 hertz, we're gonna boost that about 3 dB now. And then we're just gonna slighten it down just to make it not as big. Okay, so now that we boosted 440 hertz, if you come over here and you look at the first EQ that we used, this first EQ, the second band that we actually boosted, we boosted about 590 hertz. Now, what we're going to do is come back to the second EQ and we're actually going to cut 590 hertz now. So 590 hertz. There we go. And now what we're going to do, and since we boosted it on the first EQ, what we're going to do is we're going to cut that frequency about 3 dB. And then we're just going to bring it back so it's not as big. And there we go. So pretty much that is how you EQ carbon. So pretty much what I'm going to do now is explain to you what we did with these two EQs to create separation. Okay guys, so I hope you learned a lot about using EQ carbon in your mix to create separation. Separation in your mix is a huge thing because it allows you to actually place your instruments in the frequency spectrum where they need to be. So if your mixes sound muddy, like choppy, not clean, not open, not wide enough, use EQ Carbon on them and they will literally come to life. And the thing about mixing is the littlest moves can make a huge difference. The thing about mixing too is you want to do as less as possible. So the thing is, when you're in the recording stage, you want to make sure that you record your tracks really, really good, which means practicing them over and over again until you get them down. Because the thing is, when you start mixing and you literally, you want to make sure that you do as less as possible in your mix. You don't want to go overboard cutting frequencies and everything. Because what's going to happen is you're going to lose your mix. You're going to lose the instruments that you're trying to pop through. So remember, when you're mixing, less is more. So that's why you want to make sure you have a good performance in the beginning so that you're not mixing like hours and hours and cutting out stuff that you're not supposed to. So make sure you have a good performance because then you'll get a good mix when it's mixing time. Okay? Okay, guys, so the whole idea to EQ Carbon, like I said, to create separation in your mix is to actually get that separation. But the thing is, what you want to do is if you look over here on the first EQ that we used, we, we cut a frequency first, right? Then what we did is we boosted a frequency. Now, if we come over to the second EQ, we actually cut, we actually boosted a frequency and then we cut a frequency. So pretty much what you're doing with EQ Carbon is you're flipping the frequencies, the bands that you cut. So 
pretty much we cut a frequency and then we boosted a frequency. Then we boosted a frequency back on the first one and then we cut a frequency right there. So pretty much what you're doing is you're taking the same frequencies on the both EQs, but you're really just flopping them. So what that's going to allow to do is create pockets inside of your mix so that you can create space that other instruments can sit into. It's just like LCR panning. LCR panning stands for left, center, right. And the thing about LCR panning is you're creating pockets in your mix to create space for other instruments to sit into. So that's exactly what you're doing with EQ Carbon. So try this out on your next mix. It really helps and it really sounds great. So if you guys want separation in your mix, this is a great tip for you. All right, guys, I just want to give all of you a humongous thank you to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. You guys mean so much to me, so thank you for all the support. We are at 323 subscribers, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button to be a part of Golden Productions so that you guys can learn how to create awesome mixes in your mix. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, make it turn gray, turn on post notifications so that you guys are notified whenever I post a new video on Golden Productions. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all the support you have given me. Thank you for all the subscribers. You guys are amazing. Keep making great music. I hope you learned a lot today about what I taught you. So if you have any questions, any comments, leave them down in the comments below. I read all your guys' comments. And if you enjoyed this video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys then.